Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and we have dug back to uh, the hot spots here uh, on Old Arnold. So I thought I'd bring you back at this point and um, show you what we get out of those. So if we go into our map here, and uh, 307 is the one that's a hundred percent rich spot. There are there is only 141 ounces in here, but every last bit of that dirt is you know rich rich dirt so um and then this one is 322 ounces that that's the one that uh, excavator is actually on and this one's 321 ounces right there and then everything behind here is under 300 ounces um and then it just kind of starts to get worse and worse as you get further away from here so we're pretty much <clears throat> excuse me just going to go back or dig out these four squares and then we also have uh, a couple of pretty nice hot uh, spots kind of in this corner and even down our ramp a little bit. So we'll start to tear our ramp down at the very end of our time here at Old Arnold. Uh, so we're also going to use the excavator for these three holes just because, uh, from what I understand, we get a little more, a, a little bit of a bonus, um, you know, from using the excavator. <clears throat> so yeah, um, let's go ahead and start digging. I just did a uh, that that dirt that was in there actually was not from this stuff. It was from uh, up kind of to the left of me. Uh, but anyway, I just finished doing another clean out. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, we now have 433 ounces of gold uh, just from what I've dug out so far here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to purchase the tier five trommel. Um, before we shut things down for the winter, uh, I probably won't use it until next spring. But, but when you buy stuff in the winter, it, it's at its cheapest, uh, and that's the first tier five item that we want to get. Okay, so let's go ahead and start uh, digging this out here, and we'll just see what kind of cleanout we get. I do have a little bit of dirt, uh, maybe 20, 15 to twenty percent, I think. Uh, from the previous clean out already in the wash plant but you know the majority of this next clean out is going to be from these these really good uh, squares here and we'll see how things go
All right, guys, uh, looks like that's probably about as far as we're gonna be able to reach uh, with the excavator. So we'll have to get the rest with the front loader. So let's, um, let's see. What I'm gonna do with this guy is, I'm just gonna back him up to the uh, back end of this square and we can maybe use him uh, one last time after we clear out the uh, below us there. And then after that, we'll probably be finished with um, the excavator and we'll be able to just take it back. Okay, so let's turn you off. And we should have enough dirt now to do a clean out. 25% though, um, well there was 25% dirt already in the plant, so a little bit more than I thought. And that dirt was, you know, not as good, but I still think, I'm still expecting to see, you know, 90 ounces maybe out of this clean out. The best I've ever gotten was 92, I think I mentioned that um, in the last episode. Uh, but, you know, we're we're in some pretty good dirt here, so we could potentially expect to see 90, 90 ounces or so uh, from this clean-out. Okay, so we're at 82% now, and yeah, let's uh, get the plant completely full, and then we'll do a clean-out and see what we get. All right, we got ourselves a full plant here. Excuse me. All right, so let's hook you up. Got the burps. And then we'll shut off the dump truck for now. Come on. Okay, so we're sitting at 433 ounces. And uh, let's see what we get out of this. I'll be surprised if we don't, you know, get 90 ounces out of it. I was still, you know, in that other uh, dirt you know, heading the other direction. The stuff that we were digging in in the last episode when I got the 92 ounces. But, you know, as we move to Nighthawk, <coughs> Nighthawk itself is uh, a richer parcel. Uh, plus, we'll, I, I expect to at least have the Tier 5 Trommel when we start up on Nighthawk next season. Um, so those two things alone, you know, 90 ounce cleanouts will probably become the norm instead of the exception, I'm guessing. Did that turn on? Uh, oh, I forgot to turn the power on. Here, while we're here, let's disconnect these two water lines so we're not wasting our water. Not that it matters, and we'll, we won't run out of water before we move off of Old Arnold, but still. Never a good idea to waste water. Oop. Okay, so we have to turn on these three things and this. Uh, and the reason I have to turn on the power splitter is because, as you can see, I decided to go ahead and purchase the second Nuggetator now and put it over on this side. So now we have two Nuggetators. I figured, well, what the heck? Since we're clearing out some of the best gold on this parcel, we might as well get it now. It's like 24 grand to buy one of those, but you know we certainly could afford to do it. Okay, so let's run uh, the upper Trommel first. And while that's going in, I'll get the planter buckets ready to go.
secret. Start throwing these in. And let's get this going. Twenty-one point four ounces of gold out of the upper uh, upper sluice. All right, that's that's not bad, I guess. Not the best, but not bad. Okay, let's start loading up the uh, mats. Oh, why aren't these mats full? It's probably because I have workers on them and they were just getting ready to switch out when everything else got to 100%, I'm guessing. All right. Fair enough. So that's actually going to have a minor impact on our numbers. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do these even though they're not 100% saturated. this okay, turn that off all right let's start putting the big mats in too Come on, get in there. Twenty eight ounces of gold from the planters. That's not bad. Not the best I've seen, but not bad. I think the highest I've seen the planters uh, was right around 30 ounces. And I think that was actually on that 92 ounce cleanout. So we might not hit 90 ounces. We'll see, though. We won't know until it's completely cleaned out here. This is a lot nicer having the second Nuggetator because I don't have to load up that stupid crate and haul everything over there and do all that business. Okay, let's just drop that down there. you guys back Run this one. Whoops. Right there is where we want that.
Okay, run that one, turn this one off. And this bucket can go in here. Get this sluice back together. Final sluice. Oh yeah, it speeds things up just a little bit. Hopefully you don't have to mess with that um, kind of clunky, um, you know, tray to carry stuff around in. All right, let's see what we get. Thirty-seven. So we're at five twenty. We started at four thirty-three. So that means we got eighty-seven ounces. Okay, that's still pretty good for old Arnold, and you know for where we're currently at, uh, but not quite ninety. All right. Well, we'll take it. We will take it. Okay. Well, um, the next clean out should will probably be almost entirely of that really good dirt um so i'm gonna dig that out and then bring you guys back for the second clean out and we'll see if we can do maybe just a little bit better on that one. Oh, i've got to hook these back up too Okay, let's do this.
right. Turn these on here. And see if we can hit 90 ounces this time. I remembered why those hog pan mats were 3% less the last time. Um, I had forgot to hook up those little water lines down there uh, when I started the plant. The uh, last time before I started the recording. And uh, so that's why those, those were actually um, empty. Okay, so yeah, this this whole entire clean out now is all from that that area that we've been in. And I'm expecting 90 ounces this time. But we'll see. I mean, even last time, like I said, 83 ounces still wasn't bad. Then I'll bet you this time around, we're going to hit 90. Okay. Let's disconnect you guys. Get you started. And we'll put the upper sluice bucket back. I like to do this now so I don't forget because it's kind of out of sight, out of mind otherwise. Okay, so that one's ready to put in the wave table. See, we're sitting at 520 ounces. Okay, so we're looking for 610 by the time this is all said and done. Twenty-three ounces. Okay, that's a little bit better than last last time from the upper sluice. So yeah, these mats are now full. They. He swapped them right before we filled up. And, yeah, because see, those are now only at 2%, so... Let's put that one over there. Okay, now start on the big ones. Thirty point four nine ounces from the planters. That's actually really good. I think we're gonna hit ninety. I think we're gonna hit ninety here. back
I need to time myself. See how fast I can do this. Just for, um, well, just for the heck of it. But, you know, if I ever do leaderboard, uh, we're going to want to be as fast as possible. I didn't do that, Matt. Well, that just screwed up our speed. <laughs> oh well. Okay, this bucket's ready. And this bucket's ready. Seventy five per cent magnetite. All right, let's see how we do. Feeling good about this one. We're looking for six ten, six hundred and ten ounces. And we just hit it. Six hundred and thirteen. Nice. So we pulled ninety-three ounces. That's the best clean out I have done on old Arnold. Right on. Ninety-three ounces. Woohoo! Love it. Alright, you guys. Whoa. Uh bump you back. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, that's awesome, man. Ninety-three ounces. Uh, like I said earlier, hopefully 93 ounces will be the norm, uh, or even better, once we get to Nighthawk and get all set up. And it definitely, you know, we'll be doing even way better than that once we get full Tier 5. So, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode then. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to uh, finish where we are. There's, There's... Probably one more, maybe one more clean out to do and then switch back over to the other area and get the last, you know, few final squares over there. And then we're going to be, then we'll be done. Uh, but I am not planning on um, working past today. Uh, so this is our last day on Old Arnold one way or the other, even if I don't get all those squares cleaned out. And it's uh, it's about 12.30 p.m., so we still have lots of time left in this day uh, to get as much of the rest of that as we can. But, um, you know, and then tomorrow's the first day of winter. As I understand it, we still have, we have like, I don't know, three or four days once winter starts to get everything cleaned up before, you know, it really gets cold. So, we will be spending, you know, the first day of winter breaking all of our stuff down, getting it into storage, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, um, probably won't bring you guys back until that until that time comes, unless here again I have a, a compelling reason to do so as usual. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.